Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Blood and Venom. This is Chapter 3, Quest 2. So it's the final quest of Variant 5. And as you can see, I decided to take that middle path straight up. I believe that was the easiest path, but there are other paths that you want to check out. Uh, there's a path to the left that has aggression regeneration, which you might be able to cheese. Um, I don't know uh, necessarily who with because you can't bring in uh, Captain America. Um, but I believe this path here for your initial clear is going to be the easiest. Now, this is my second attempt to ramp up Venom the Duck. I decided to go in with Venom the Duck. I wanted to show what he could do. And I'm not a big fan of ramp up champions. Venom the Duck is a ramp up champion and it's RNG uh, based. So randomly, Venom the Duck will get a buff. That buff, you can use a heavy or a special one, I believe, to bank it, which is like a save. And when you fire off your special three, all the buffs that you have banked become active. All right. So if you want certain buffs like the regen buff and the damage buff or the power gain buff, you basically are, you know, relying on RNG. So that first fight is a really long fight. And the first time I went in here, I beat him, but I had gotten hit a couple of times. So my health was low and I didn't get the buffs that I wanted. And I just said, you know what? This is the first fight. May as well just restart it. All right, so what you see me doing here is basically trying to get buffs that I want, okay? Now, watch when I fire this special three off. Uh, you'll see the buffs that I have banked. Um, they will become active immediately. All right, so you see there, we've got the power gain. We've got a regen. Uh, we got a damage, okay? Now, something that you can do that I learned during this variant with Venom the Duck, because I don't really use him. But I learned that once you do like the special three, uh, you still only can do three buffs per fight. But when you fire off your special three and you have some buffs and you haven't banked any, say you have a regen, power gain, and uh, a damage. And th those are the ones you want. You don't have to wait for RNG after you've already got them banked fire the special three, they become active, then do a heavy and you can rebank and you double them. Okay, so you have the power gain, um, regen, damage, you bank them again, now you have two stacks of each one of them for a total of six. So that made things go much quicker. You know, once you got the right buffs that you wanted. Now, I happen to like the regen, because I run suicides. So that regen is really nice if you can get a few stacks of that. Um, but you also want to balance it out with maybe power gain and damage, or else you're gonna have someone who does not do a lot of damage, but they regen up, so the fights will be longer. All right, so as you can see, this fight is going on like forever and I don't like long fights but it's worth it to ramp him up once we've done that the next fights won't be quite as long but it really depends on what you banked you know if you banked a lot of damage then yeah the fights are going to go uh pretty quickly uh, but if you try to do a balance or if you have uh more of the regen you went for a sustainability so the fights will be longer, but you'll be safer. You know, kind of like Wolverine. Uh, he's got a lot of regen. His damage is not the highest there, but he can usually survive a lot, you know? So you can make Venom the Duck whoever you want by banking different buffs. So he's actually a pretty fun champion, especially in incursions. All right, so at this point, we are going on five minutes and we are still on the first fight. All right. And if you guys know me, you know, I do not like long fights. 
So there's got to be something here with Venom the Duck. And I wanted to at least showcase it. He may not be your cup of tea. Uh, he's not someone that I'm going to be using a whole lot, but I do like using him in incursions, um, especially when we get some of those nice uh, uh, buffs or hacks or whatever. But finally, we got this first carnage down. So now Venom the Duck, when he starts this fight, he's going to have all the buffs that he had banked active right from the beginning. So watch for those. All right. So there you go. Power gain, regen. Um, and you see that I did the heavy. So now I just rebanked those. You see that they all went away. They went into the bank. Now, once I fire off my special three, you're going to see those same buffs come back. And they are going to be um, two stacks of them. Now, one thing that I probably should have done is wait for the buffs to almost expire. So I still got the benefit from them and then rebank them when, you know, they've already healed me up and, and all of that good stuff. But I'm not that well versed with Venom the Duck yet because I don't really use him a lot. This is probably the most I used him outside of Arena. All right, so you see there? Now we've got two stacks of each one of them because we banked both of them. But now that we banked them, that's it for this fight. We can't rebank them again. Okay, so now it's just me going in here and trying to finish him off. But look at that power gain we're getting, okay? So we're going to bait out his special two because nobody wants to deal with his special three. Boom, boom. All right. And you'll notice I'm building up to a special three. And that works out great because I run suicides. Special one and two are going to give me recoil damage. But special three does not. Uh, fun fact, the original intention was that you take recoil damage from even the special three. But it was a bug that it did not. Then later on, they fixed it, but then they decided to leave it the way that it was so that now that is the way that it works. And they've, you know, changed the wording and everything um, because it had been like that for so long and it was actually a pretty nice uh, thing. So we can't say that they never leave bugs in that benefit the player. Because that special three not taking recoil damage was a bug, definitely in favor of the player, and they made it a permanent feature. All right, so we got him down. Didn't take quite as long as that first fight, but still not quick, you know? So now we're going to go fight this guy, Colossus. Now, the thing with Colossus, he has a lot of armor ups. Uh, Venom the Duck, when he fires off a special two, uh, he eats up folks that have a lot of armor okay that toxic armor that he has a lot of damage okay um so i i don't remember if i did the uh special two here let's see because i know i was thinking of doing it all right there we go let's see uh let me see if i did it um maybe not okay yeah doesn't look like i did it um I might do it before the fight is over. We'll find out. Um, it's been a while. This is my initial clear, and I've already done the full exploration at this time, and I'm going back now through this uh, to uh, do the walkthrough here. So we're going to fire off the special three. You're going to see those buffs pop up again, okay? And uh, just look at his health. Look at Venom the Duck's health. So you see I'm just backing off trying to let those uh, go a little bit. And then I'm going to probably, let's see. Nope. Okay. So I used them all up. Uh, I was wondering if I was going to wait until they almost expired and then try to uh, rebank them again. Um, but, you know, we're, we're playing it a little bit slow. And uh, I might have been thinking to uh, let his armor ups get a little bit higher up because the more he has, the more damage Venom the Duck's uh, special two will do. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Yep, there we go. I did fire off a special two eventually. 
All right, so look at that toxic armor. Okay, that is some nice stuff, but it didn't do as much as I was hoping it would. Um, it, I'm not quite sure uh, how the RNG works on it, um, but it is capable of doing some crazy amounts of damage. Uh, because it didn't give me a whole lot, let me see if I tried it a second time. Um, but I might go to the special three so I can heal up a little bit. Okay, so we probably want to fight. Yeah, we want to bait out that special two. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to play it safe and uh, go to the special three so that I can, uh, you know, heal up a little bit because I'm like half, you know, health here. Okay, so right after we do that, I'm probably going to fire that special three. Yep, there we go. So Venom the Duck does take a little bit longer. And so he may not be everybody's cup of tea, but he's actually a pretty versatile uh, champion. So you see there, I got them all. Look at his health. Now, the attack values are insane uh, in Variant 5. So I'm taking a lot of um, block damage. All right, let me see what I do here. Probably going to bait out that special two. And, uh, yep, there we go. Fired off a special two. Boom, boom. Yeah, look at that toxic armor this time. Did a lot more damage. Okay, so um, what it looks like is that when you put that toxic armor on them, you have a certain amount of time before uh, you can, while you can hit him and do, like, extra damage. So uh, I need to learn how to do that a little bit better. So bait out the special then fire off the special two, get the toxic armor, then start hitting him a lot, and you're going to do a lot of damage. Um, but we got him down, and now we're fighting ghosts. Now, notice that on this path, the defenders that you're coming up against are not very difficult to fight. That's one of the reasons that I consider this path pretty easy. So, you don't obviously have to use Venom the Duck. If I'm doing this with Venom the Duck, um, pretty much all the champions on my team would have done just fine. Like Colossus, Black Widow, Clairvoyant would have done that Colossus fight just fine. She would have taken away his armor ups. Um, you could have switched her into poison um, because he's not poison immune uh, and tore him up that way. Uh, or incinerate maybe and do a little bit more damage on your special two. Um, so this path is pretty easy and the counters that you can bring in, you know, but keep in mind, as uh, we said earlier, you cannot bring anyone but a Mystic, Symbiote, or Spider-Verse Champion. Um, but among those, you have a pretty nice selection uh, to take in here if you have them ramped up. Um, but Symbiote Supreme could have done this fight. So this path, if you have any of the champions that I have on here ramped up or ranked up, you should be able to do this path uh, using very little resources or no resources at all. All right, so you'll notice this fight has gone a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to fire off a special three. And that way we can uh, start healing up a little bit more. All right, there we go. Nom, 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 nom. And let's see. Okay, yep. So you see we have three stacks of uh, that damage. Got some power gain. And we've got a bunch of stacks of the regen. Look at his health. That is beast mode, okay? So I like him. He's very versatile, depending on how you build him up. You can build up uh, uh, more damage if you want to do it that way. Um, I happen to like the power gain, the uh, regen, and the uh, damage. Not so much a fan of the armor up or uh, any of the other ones. The precision one is okay as well because it'll uh, give you more crits, but... Those three I kind of like, but you can build him however you want. 
Uh, and uh, I believe it's 10 that you have. Now, we are not going to use Venom the Duck for this one. We probably could have, but against Hyperion, especially with that power gain he gets, and he likes to fold his arms and not throw anything and just build up, I said, let's go in with Black Widow Clairvoyant because she can nullify, as you see there, that power gain. So now we need him to fire off that special two. We, we kind of did this a little dangerous um, because he tends to fire the special uh, only when his uh, power gain is about to go. So you have to be really careful. And uh, if he decided not to throw his special, like see here, he's going to throw it just before the power gain. Okay, that's how he likes to time it. So you need to be baiting that special or else he's going to fold them arms like that and then go in. Now, see, he did a heavy there. And you see how I just tapped him to, to nullify that power gain so that he doesn't just sit back and do nothing, all right, and uh, gain power. Okay, now there, I didn't get the nullification. So I'm like, uh-oh, what's going on? You know, there he goes again with that. Boom, we got the nullification there, put on a buff immunity so that he cannot fire off or, or get the uh, power gain, okay? So Black Widow, Clairvoyant, she does very well with this fight. She is not the highest damage dealer, and I'm not in uh, damage mode at this point. Um, I still, at this time, needed to learn a little bit more about playing with Claire. Uh, but what I would do here, because this is her blood curse phase. So that's where she's going to regain her health. But you notice my health is pretty good. This is not her damage phase. So what you need to do here, you see I, I cycled through. Now this is her poison phase. And you have a little bit of power control in poison. Okay, but this fight was going on for a while. Now I switched over to her incinerate. That was her damage phase, but I saw he had a very little bit of health left. And sometimes, for some reason, I end up switching and I don't mean to. You know, I actually make sure that I end with a medium, but it reads sometimes as a light attack. And I can tell only when it switches her. And I know I swiped for a medium attack at the end. Makes me wonder how often that happens in a fight and I just don't notice it, you know, but, uh, with her, it's quite noticeable. I went ahead and did that because I knew that I had him and we got him down without too much difficulty, but he can be a little tricky. Okay. So, uh, that was Hyperion. Uh, I would bring in someone to handle him, uh, symbiote Supreme, could also have handled that fight. Next up is actually a very annoying fight for a lot of people. Uh, during the live stream, and I did this live, uh, people were like, oh man, you're going to have a wild time with her because she's really difficult. And she can be. She's uh, very tricky to fight. You know, that invisibility, you know, like here, you have to swipe at her. Uh, the worst time I ever had fighting Invisible Woman was in war, and she was on a stun immune node. And what ended up happening is I had very little health, so I could not take a hit, okay? She was uh, stun immune. She went uh, invisible, and I needed to basically hit her and back off, but there's no way she was going to let me just swipe at her and not attack me and kill me. So I was sitting there stuck. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to do this? You know, I can't stun her, hit, and then back off. I have to do something. I can't intercept her because she's invisible and is going to wreck me if I try to do that. So I basically ended up just losing. Uh, so... I had a healthy respect for fighting Invisible Woman after that fight. So I learned how to, you know, fight her. As long as she's not stun immune, she doesn't give me too much of a, a problem. All right. So, you know, you keep an eye on that invisibility uh, timer there. 
so she doesn't go invisible right in the middle of your combo. All right, so you see here, all right, now when she's bleeding, uh, her invisibility does not stay. So uh, in the case of the stun immune, you want to bring in a bleed champion, okay? So that you don't get into that situation where I was because while she's bleeding, uh, she can go invisible, but it's gonna go, um, it's gonna disappear if she's bleeding very quickly. So you don't actually have to do the parry swipe or try to hit her, take the damage to get rid of her invisibility. Um, so that is where Venom the Duck uh, was quite useful here. But since I could parry stun her, it wasn't too much of a problem. It was funny uh, because there were people in the chat that had had so much of a problem with her. And as you saw, I did the one shot with Venom the Duck. Uh, Venom the Duck is underrated, I think, by a lot of people. All right, so down went Invisible Woman, arguably the most difficult defender on this path. So um, Hyperion and Invisible Woman on this path, you want to be prepared for. All right, finally, we come to the end of the chapter. Now, what you're about to see is ugly because this was my first time going up against Venom. And the thing about Venom is that he can be really aggressive, but then at the same time, he doesn't want to throw his specials. And in this particular situation with the node that we had to deal with this boss, I had a horrible time, my initial clear. Okay, so you see the globals. We talked about the global before. I don't really pay attention to it, but I should, and it would have made my life easier. You see that enhanced special two, and then the energize one? Those are a pain. That, that to me, made this fight 10 times worse. Because if you don't know how to evade Venom's special two, you're gonna get wrecked. Now, I got better when I did exploration, but at this time, uh-uh, I did not know how to evade it. So as soon as he got to a special two, that was pretty much it for me, all right? Um, so at this point, what you wanna do is try to bait out that special one. Now there, he fired the special one off, beautiful. But it all depends on which AI you get for Venom, and there are different AI profiles for him. Some of them are aggressive, some of them like to throw their specials like this, um, but if he doesn't, you're gonna end up in the corner and it's not gonna be a good time for you, all right? So another, uh, if you have a, a power control mystic, symbiote, you know, Spider-Verse champion, uh, you may have a good time here. Um, I, I heard that magic was actually a pretty good uh, option for this, but I'm not sure. There's also a node, all right? So I got lucky there and I evaded it. And I was like, woo hoo you know, I evaded him once, but yeah, there we go. Not consistent, not consistent. That first one was luck, but by the time I was doing the exploration, I was actually getting pretty good at evading uh, Venom Special 2. Uh, but there's an, uh, a node here, um, I think it's Mystic Ward, so Magic, will have a hard time power draining him and, and nullifying and all of that. So yeah, this fight was was just ugly. Um, I Like I said, I had an easier time after I got used to this fight. But what you're gonna see here is just me whittling him down. You know, after this first initial clear, I can't even feel like, you know, I won because I basically just wore him down. You know, um, but like I said, I did better. I did the uh, exploration live. Uh, I did this one live as well, which adds a little bit more pressure. Everybody's watching and I'm not paying attention fully uh, on the fight. But I did much better on the live stream where I was uh, focusing a little bit better and uh, we were just exploring. All right. So. There we go. 
got the uh, special one out of him, and then I quickly fired off a special two because I knew he was going to get that special two and wreck me. So this fight, if you can control his power, you don't have to deal with that special two. But if you know how to evade that special two, you'll have a much better time with this fight. If you can't evade his special two, you're going to hate this fight. And at this point in time, this is also how I learned to evade uh, Magneto's special two. Uh, we were in a variant. I don't remember which variant it was, but there was a path along the bottom and there was a symbioid. And it had all of Magneto's um, specials. And it was ugly because I could not evade that special two. And I believe it was unblockable and it just tore me apart. All right. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness, I need to learn how to do this. He only had two bars of power and he got power gain like crazy. So he easily got to that special two very quickly. And uh, I learned how to do it. I learned how to evade that special two because of that symbioid in that variant. And similarly here, I'm still not 100% sure of uh, evading. So if I don't have to, I will block most of his special two. You know, I'll do at least the first part and then I'll back off uh, and avoid the next. Uh, so there's no need for me to learn uh, very well how to evade it except for this fight. And I did do that. I got several evades. Um, I think uh, one of my best attempts, uh, he never hit me with his special two. Uh, and if he had, I would have died. All right. And see right there, I rushed him because I knew he was going to fire that special two and I was going to get wrecked. So I was trying to rush into him and do as much damage as possible. Uh, but as you can see, didn't work. He fired the special two, intercepted me with it, and it was over with. So Venom the Duck, you had your time in the in the sun. Now, this fight really annoyed me because uh, my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a great option. And you see there, I just mistimed it or something and got wrecked. But Starkey is actually a very good counter for this Venom. And I did go in with him again uh, a little bit later because I couldn't let him go out like that. You know, that was just a mistake. And I hate the fact that you do one mistake and it's over with. You know, that was it. You know, I did one little mistake and the fight was over. You know, I'm not a big fan of those David and Goliath type fights, um, especially when you have so many of them, you know. Um, you're taking a large amount of block damage. And then if you do any one little thing wrong, the fight is over. You know, that's that's not fun. And it adds a lot more stress than I like. Um, but it is what it is. Now here, you see he's firing his special one off. And then he caught me going back. And then we've got that special two ready. So I decided to fire off my special three because again at this point i just want to get him down i'm tired i've already gone through this path and, and we did pretty good you know and so i just rushed him and you can see i was not about to wait for the uh special three animation we all know what was going to happen okay so now i'm like all right let's revive my boy and I, I wanted to give him a second try, I believe. Um, I gave him a second try uh, to show that he's actually a pretty decent option for this Venom. Okay, so here we go. We got a revive. And, uh, you know, I gave him a nice uh, big heal. He's a glass cannon, so he doesn't have a lot of health, but he does a lot of damage. All right, so here we go. Round two for Spider-Man Stark Enhance. All right, so first thing, I want to uh, build up those poise charges, but I said, you know what? I'm just going in. I want to get that taunt on him. 
All right, see, there we go. He's firing off that special one. All right, he's got a taunt on him again. That's why he keeps firing the special one off. Okay, we, we keep getting that taunt. This is why I say he's a really good option. Look at this. Okay, so my Starkey, this time he gave, gave a much better showing. All right, see, look at that. Loving it. Fire off that special two and did some nice damage. Got a taunt on him. Fired that special one off again. All right, and look at that. Special one. Love it. So that is the way I had expected that first attempt to go with uh, my Spider-Man Stark in hand. See, much easier to get those specials because he has a taunt. All right, just look at this. So Starkey is, is going to work. He's, he's getting a little bit of revenge for uh, what uh, happened to him that first time. Okay, we got that taunt on him. And there I messed up. Because what I was going to do, I was going to push him to his special two, parry, and then do a heavy. But I remembered at the last moment that nullifies and, and power drain, it wasn't going to work out the way I was expecting because Starkey is a tech. And so that wouldn't have worked. And I remembered it too late. So I'm just like, oh, man. But I at least showed that Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a viable option for that Venom. If you play it that way, you'll be able to bait out those special ones. And what's funny is that I was in Labyrinth of Legends with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. And I did have to fight a Venom there. And I never got hit with his special two in Labyrinth of Legends with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. So I don't know what was going on with this one. And then you see here, we just got ripped up again. You know, it only takes a little bit. Just one mistake, and he's got bleeds on you. It's like he's got a 100% chance to put a bleed on you. And then that's it. It doesn't matter if you bait him out, if you anything, because once he gets it on you, it's very similar to Archangel. Once he has a bunch of neuros on you, there's not really much you can do but sit there and watch your health go. Okay, so I'm just like, no, we got it. We got to go in here with uh, my symbiote supreme because I'm pretty sure he's also a, a decent option for this. Um, although, to be honest, I like Spider-Man Stark Enhanced better. Um, but that's just me. But symbiote supreme works just fine as long as you can bait out those special ones or evade his special two. Okay, so um, here we go. All right, we baited that out. And what I want is to get that special three off. Okay. And then here I am in the corner. He fired his special one only when I was backed up into a corner. And I didn't dare try to evade it. But we, at least we got it. We blocked it. And we fired that off. Boom. And now we have all of our phases active. But he's ready for that special uh, two. So I can't really capitalize on it. All right, he fired the special one off. Now I got him, but I had to back off again. Look at this. He still caught me, but we got him down. Finally. Ugly, but I got better uh, in the exploration. Uh, just have to learn the fight, get used to the fight. But it's not a simple, easy fight, especially if you can't evade that special two. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed this initial clear, if it helped you out, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, if you have not subscribed to me already, feel free to give me a subscription and certainly leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you had different counters. What was your experience when you were doing your initial clear for this uh, variant five? So take care and you all have a blessed day.